So I recently got in this pen. And I wanted to do some quick thoughts because I know it's been highly awaited by a number of people. This is the Zebra X701. So basically what this is, is the extreme version of the F701. Uh, this is the F701, of course. It's the all steel kind of standard Zebra. Been very popular for a long time. And recently, Zebra just released this X701 ballpoint. I bought this from Zebra's website. Uh, took like two weeks for them to get it to me. It cost $15 for the pen and $5 for shipping. So 20 bucks. I'm sure these will be cheaper soon when they're more widely available. But if you want it now, it's going to cost you 20 bucks. Looking at the packaging, I, uh, I ripped it open earlier just to test it out. Uh, I did get the retail packaging. I know not everyone has. Uh, and it basically kind of explains some of the stuff I already went through. This is the X701. It's the Air, their extreme ballpoint pen. Uh, comes with two refills. And uh, you can see it's a non-sealed refill, which we'll get into in a few minutes. This is the non-reflective stainless steel barrel. And it works from negative 30 to through 250 degrees. So probably a similar temperature range to the Zebra PR4. Uh, sorry, the Fisher space pens pr4 refill and on the back it says x701 extreme condition writing uh, this is the extreme cousin of zebra's popular steel line so this is the the steel line is the f701 the f402 uh, and that you know those are the steel line i guess this is the extreme line uh, non-reflective stainless steel barrel harsh conditions blah 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 Pressurized barrel that writes in any angle, five times more durable than your everyday plastic pen. I mean, that doesn't mean anything. There's no like durability scale. And I don't know what an everyday plastic pen is. So whatever, that sounds cool, but it means nothing. Convenient lanyard, loop. Refillable, the K refill. That's good, because that's, uh, I believe, gonna be more widely available, available than most refills. And then, uh, well, than most pressurized refills at least. And there's a little diagram of the pressurized barrel. And it says right here that because it's pressurized, some ink blobbing may occur if the pen is left retracted for extended periods of time. Mine did not show up with any blobbing. It showed up looking just like that. Uh, so I don't know what that means, but I know some people have showed up with blobbing. Anyway, so here's the pen. It is a not fully matte, but I'll go ahead and call it matte. And this is a really nice, smooth barrel. The uh, grip area is not knurled. It has these sort of indented window type things. And then the metal tip, same tip design as on the F side, but it just does come off. That's very cool. So it looks like it's uh, plastic. At least it feels like plastic and it has a brass insert in there. You know, there's a good chance it could be coating, but it does feel like plastic. I'm gonna go with it's plastic with a blast brass insert. So this piece comes off and this does not feel like this. Yeah, this feels like plastic on the grip area. So that makes sense. So the grip appears to be plastic and that separates. And now we have a, wow, it's a heavy duty spring. And here's that refill and oh, that's, so what happens here is kind of, this is like on the Tombow pen, the, this is stuck in here and it's in there pretty well. So you have to pull this to put, to get it out of whatever's holding it in there. And basically this is not sealed. This is just kind of a standard ballpoint, but the seal comes from it being inside of a little cup back here. And when you push this, that action will seal the pen. That's the same as the uh, similar design, at least to the Tombow Air Press, which I've talked about here in the past. And this is not, I mean, obviously this will move the pen, but it creates the seal. And then here, it's not too much to see, just a steel barrel, pretty thin diameter. And uh, I can't, yeah, can't bend it, but just relative to the F701, I mean, you can see this thing 
is like an absolute tank. So this is a different level of steel than the X, but unless you're gonna roll it over your car or something like that, it doesn't really matter. Put this back in. So uh, we will do, I guess we do the spring first. Screw that in and So you can hear on the uh, on the uh, when the button is pressed, good solid press. And on the way up, you can kind of hear a, like kind of a suction sound. I think that's just it creating the seal. It's that that seal in action. Let's see if this piece comes off. No. Uh, anyway, just to get through this, this is going pretty long. Nice solid clip, and the clip is like. It sounds like a sprung steel, and that has a really true matte. It looks really cool. I'm really digging the texture of this barrel area. That's quite nice. Up here appears, could be metal, could be plastic. A little bit hard to tell. And then there's that lanyard clip. I think it's a really cool addition. Makes the pen look cool. Uh, then if you want to put it on a rope and tie it to your backpack or something like that, you could. I don't know about putting on your belt, but I guess that's possible. And then, uh, right on this. So this is the Zebra X701. And here is a, this is the, a stock Zebra F701 steel series. And then here is the true original Zebra 701. You can see it has the black plastic there. So this is unmodified. So I'll write against this, and this is the Zebra F701. Looks pretty much exactly the same. We just open up this F701, and you can see it uses that. Oh no, actually this one uses a different refill. This uses a, this kind of fatter refill. So, those will not be interchangeable, but this one is interchangeable with the Fisher PR4 refill. And let's do a quick test here, as I know people are gonna ask if a Fisher refill will fit in here. Uh, you know, the spring is still in there. So that spring's definitely gonna go around the entire fissure, so that's a no-go. Let's see if it works, it's just for academic purposes. It does not work. So a fissure refill will not fit in your X701. I don't know exactly how this spring, like what it does. I'm gonna have to take a closer look at how the spring mechanism works but I'll do a full review in the future try to piece this thing together a little bit more so this is going on way too long anyway that is the quick introduction to the x701 from zebra check back in a couple couple days maybe and I will do a full review, plus I'll have some comparisons coming up. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Definitely curious to hear what people think about this. Thanks for watching.